Hey everybody, it's Grace, and I just um, went to the nature preserve and walked around. It's been a while since I did my last video on it of exercising, and the last time I came here, I was really upset with myself because I couldn't walk as far as I used, usually do, and uh, because I had been, you know, not been out here in a while. Sorry, pardon the, the sun making that glare, but yeah. And this time I come out here just, what, a week or two, I don't know, later. And I should have been coming here more often. But I come out here and I'm fine. I can walk as far as I usually do. I don't get it. <laughs> but I've been having a lot of pain this time in my um, left leg. I don't know what it is, but when I wake up in the morning, morning it feels like my the heel, the pad of the heel is having problems. And Adam talked, mentioned something about bone spurs and so did the doctor the new doctor I had said something like about that but yeah you know so I don't know if that's what it is but anyway it's, it's good that I can walk that I don't know what what it is now I want to say something more about this new doctor that I had he I mentioned I think in a video that yeah he had said this about um that he wrote a book and that he can't sell the book because it would be you know um, conflict interest whatever it was you know unethical so anyway I got the book it's a small one and basically in the book what he says is you know is like he's heard all of his patients say that are there for weight loss they've all basically said the same thing they've made excuses about why they're um, you know why they're overweight and I mean he does that in a way that you know isn't like he's just telling them, well you're a liar or something like that but you know the gist of it is if you are overweight, it's kind of like he has a view of one size fits all. If you're overweight, it's because you eat too much and you don't exercise enough. Now, I have been overweight since I was young. And I, in, when I was 37, it was found that I have an adrenal disorder. I have a mass on one of my adrenal glands. I also have one up, upper um, near my neck, this, this mass. And they said that the one around my adrenal, dis, you know, my adrenal gland, I meant to say adrenal gland, that it causes me not to be able to lose weight in one portion of my body, my midsection. The rest of me is skinny. Okay. <laughs> and that I would never be, be overweight. You know, not small. obese, but I would always be overweight. I would never be a regular normal size, you know, whatever that is. But um so imagine thirty seven years old and I have been dieting all dieting all those years and somebody tell you that nothing you have done in the past and nothing you can do in the future is going to change it. There was anger involved. You can bet there was anger involved. And now this doctor is telling me about his book and his view on everybody. And he even says some things and he mumbled and he stopped saying it. You know, trying to tell me basically the same thing. That, you know, no matter, you know, no matter what, it's because you eat too much. Now, I think that is, I have had problems with doctors who are stigmatizing healthcare professionals, not just doctors. You remember the, the um, well, I don't think I mentioned on this channel, there was a, um, a, what is it called, a nurse practitioner. She, oh my goodness, nurse ratchet. She stigmatized me. You wouldn't believe the way the things that she said to me because I think it was all because she wasn't getting all the attention. That she had a uh, nurse in training, you know, an intern or extern, whatever they call them these days. Uh, I've heard extern for some something, but anyway, she was in their training, and um, she was, you know, this woman and I could relate because because we went to the same university, and I was this young woman. And I was, you know, having a conversation with her. Well, the nurse practitioner, I think she got upset because she wasn't the center of attention, and she started spewing out some really bad stuff. And it was it, it just shocked me. I was in shock. I couldn't say anything. I was in shock. At the moment but anyway I've had you know people stigmatize me you know doctors so this reading his book and seeing how he thinks you know that he's not going to bother telling every patient the same story so he's just gonna have them buy his book so he they can read it what they can read him telling them that no there are no exceptions to this rule you eat too much you know the whole the whole rule is you're eating too much you know the whole thing you're eating too much and you're not exercising enough, period. That's all that it is. It can't be anything else other than what food you put in and what you and what you burn off. That's it. I just don't see it that way. 
and ne neither do the other professionals. They, uh, you know, all these other professionals I've seen in the past did not see it that way. <laughs> okay, since I was 37, that's almost 20 years ago. I'm 55. Okay, but no, he is this doctor who knows it all. Oh, the thing about it is I don't have health insurance, and I live in Texas, and I'm a homemaker to try to, I, I'm getting to the point where I'm going to try again to find some kind of insurance that, you know, I can, I can see a regular doctor that doesn't have that high, high deductible that it's useless to buy it anyway, you know, to get it anyway, but yeah, because this is crazy, you know, I'm, I'm dealing with doctors like that. But in the meanwhile, I'm going to see this doctor because I've checked and I couldn't find any insurance that was affordable, you know, without a high deductible and a monthly payment of crazy. But yeah, you know, this doctor, I just don't have a one size fits all kind of mentality and I don't have a, a, a feeling for a doctor who seems to think that they're the only one in the world who knows the best. You know, it's kind of like when people go to a church and they think they're only their pastor or their preacher or their minister or whatever they call it, their clergy person, that's the only one who knows the truth. No, it's not. You know, it's the same for doctors. They're not, that one is not the only one who knows the truth. Anyway, that's it for this video for now. If you want to subscribe to this channel, click the circle. If you want to watch another video on this channel, click one of the rectangles. Like, subscribe, and share on your own social media if you would, and I'll talk to you on another video. Bye.